All right, Packers, welcome to a Wednesday, day two. Shalom, namaste, assalamu alaikum, bienvenidos, and bonjour. I hope you are. Well, ni hao. Um, hope the week's been moving along well. Glad that you're here with uh, me, digitally at least. A uh, couple things right off the top. Uh, for those of you that were here in sixth grade, and it's okay if you weren't, but uh, Mr. Karenshin, let me tell you what. Uh, you haven't seen Mr. Karenshin's COVID beard, and you are missing out because it is a thing of beauty. Some of you know that uh, Mr. Schultz has had some creative facial hair, but uh, Mr. Karenshin setting the bar high. So that was one thing uh, that brought joy to me today. Um, I hope there are things bringing you joy. And, and what I mean by that, seriously, is on Monday's check-in, uh, your do now is just simply kind of like where you're at. One, I need help. Four, I think this is going to be an awesome week. A lot of people self-scored themselves at two. Now, first of all, I appreciate two things. One, your honesty. And two, your self-awareness, kind of knowing that that's where you were at. But I think it's important for those of us, and I think it's a real roller coaster. Teenage years, high school years, always a roller coaster. But particularly when we're doing this for the first time um, ever. So some of you that scored really high realize that there's a lot of people that you may know, teammates or classmates or fellow bandmates that are having a tough week. And if you are having a tough week, it's okay. You're not alone. In fact, there's a lot of your peers that at least on Monday were saying, whew, this is a rough one, right? Now, one thing I'll encourage you to do is try to communicate in a different way. See if that brings you a little bit of energy, right? So if you've ever had an old-fashioned phone call, right? Or sat down and wrote a letter. Try, try something like that, um, both if you're hurting or if you're feeling well and you want to cheer somebody up. So appreciated that from people, um, but know that some people literally think today's going to be uh, the middle of a great week, and other people are saying, whew, this is the longest week yet. So we're all in different places. Um, today, we just want to briefly look at how the research went on Monday and Tuesday. Overall, from what I've looked at so far, uh, went well. Um, and then what am I going to ask you to do with this research? Because we're about at the time of the year, regardless of whether we're in class or not, where we're going to need to do some different things and kind of challenge you in some different ways. And I think that's fair. And I think um, hopefully it'll work. But you know what? If it doesn't work, hey, this is the first time we've ever done anything like this and we got to roll with it. Now, my number one thought for the day, going ham this 4th of July. Don't have Disney Plus? But I for sure am going to sign up for the free week um, over the 4th of July because Hamilton the Musical, which you remember I made you listen to a lot, Trimester 1, is going to be the original Broadway recording. It's going to be on uh, Disney Plus on the 4th of July. So I'm super excited about that. I love that musical. I love that message um, about what it was like to try to build the United States of America. Um, and then got very little feedback about Animal Crossing. Um, I wonder if you had a new game or a new app or a new online activity that you've started. Obviously, most some of us are spending more time on their devices. I wonder if you've picked up something new or tried something new, um, limited as we are. Um, and then please turn in late work. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, you had this research assignment, right? Now, this isn't the part that's going to be graded per se, but you can't do the graded part without doing Monday and Tuesday's research. So some of you might be watching this and realize you need to go back into Monday's folder. The basic summary is we're not in junior high, so you need to be specific. Now, this is a super dated example, but um, you can imagine this exchange here between two people. You said you wanted a ride to school. And the other person says, yeah, but I wasn't planning on leaving at four in the morning. So I'm just trying to remind you that specifics matter when you're talking about research. And I'm looking at that assignment for Monday and Tuesday. Some of us need to be a little more specific. So even something like Brown versus Board of Education. What is that, right? If we just say Brown versus Board of Education, that's not enough to help the other people out that are maybe looking at your poster or reading your writing or whatever. They might not know what that is. So we would need here for Brown versus Board of Education the Supreme Court case. And we're thinking 11th grade, the Supreme Court case that ended K-12 segregation. 
called Brown versus Board of Education. That's what we need to build on. Um, another thing, obviously, this assignment that I had you look at um, pulled up, asked you to do the who, right? The, the five W's. Okay, who was involved? Folks, I don't care if you read the Martin Luther King article or not. If you just put Martin Luther King, that's not going to cut it in the, as you're nearly juniors, right? So I want to know, did Dr. King have other teammates? Did he have an organization? Uh, who else was involved, right? Um, so a lot of us could have worked on the who part and still can. Um, if you turned it in and you need it unsubmitted, just, just shoot me a quick email. Um, I'll try to work on that. Uh, but really, that's really the big piece here was just be specific. If you say where, but you don't say where Montgomery is, is Montgomery, there's probably a Montgomery in almost every state in the country. So you need to be specific. And that was the big takeaway on the research piece. But I'm going to um, assume, now, if you have questions about that, we, you and I can, can get into that. But I'm going to assume now moving forward that you've got that done. Okay. So what we're going to do, and dig this, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? Nothing new on the Friday is um, sharing what you got out of your research. So um, I'm going to try to repeat this as many ways as I can. But you're going to choose one of these four sharing activities. And the idea is you went and became an expert, and now you're going to share this with people who don't know what you learned about. That makes sense. So you're going to choose to either create a Quizlet or a Kahoot, something like that, on the topic that you already researched, or you're going to write one paragraph, or you're going to create some artwork, could be digital artwork, could be paper artwork. Hopefully you know how to upload a photo. If not, I can help. Um, or a digital poster using Google Draw. So you're going to choose one of those things to do. It's going to be worth double the points of a daily assignment because we're going to work on it Tuesday, or sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right? So we're going to have those things um, to work on. Um, if we look at the Schoology page itself, Okay, open up unit eight and look in Wednesday, which is today, the 13th, in the practice folder. Okay, it says it's important that you watch these daily videos. That message isn't for you. It's important that you completed the Monday, Tuesday assignment. You'll only choose one of these things. Now, I realize we're handcuffed a little bit by Schoology in that the due dates, um, which I'm going to change. Uh, the due dates will all pop up on Schoology. And I realize that's, for some of you, anxiety-inducing. But I'm trying to make it very clear that you're only going to choose one of these activities. Uh, the student-created study tool. If you don't know how to do Quizlet or Kahoot or Pear Deck or something like that, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, if you want to learn a new skill, there's plenty of YouTube videos, and you can email me. But that's that. Now, the paragraph one, you'll write one paragraph, and there's an outline that you can follow along. Um, but that outline is as if you were going to write a longer essay, but you aren't. So it's still just one paragraph. Um, a digital poster, right? And a digital poster is going to use Google Draw, which is something that if you've had me as a teacher um, before this trimester, you've worked on before. It's essentially, as we call it, the digital poster. Um, and so what that is, is, it, is it's a poster. What that means is it should not be a paragraph and look like a paragraph. It should look like a poster, which means there's going to be some different font sizes. There's going to be some images. It's not just going to be in pure sentence form. It's going to look like a poster. And those are the directions there for that. Um, or, again, you're choosing one of these. Um, or you're going to uh, create a, a work of art. So I would expect that over the next few days, I'm going to be fielding some questions about whatever uh, activity you choose, right? Because I'm not getting super in-depth into detail. I think I wrote some directions that will help, but I would expect that there will be questions on this. But I just want to reiterate that most of us on Monday and Tuesday did good research. So this next piece is going to be pretty straightforward. 
you're going to say, oh, I'm going to teach another student, an imaginary student, about the thing that I researched. And the way that I'm going to teach them is I'm either going to give them a Quizlet deck or I'm going to write a paragraph or I'm going to, and there's detailed directions on what that paragraph will look like, or I'm going to make a digital poster and there's specific directions on that, or I'm going to make a work of art that teaches them about the thing that I researched. So we're going to take the Monday and Tuesday research and we're going to turn it into something that could teach someone who didn't do the reading, who didn't do the research. This is new, this is different, particularly new or different with the distance learning thing. But let's be honest, we need to mix it up. We need to challenge ourselves. If you feel overwhelmed, if you feel like, dude, this is a lot, I don't know, take a deep breath and let's have a Google Meet or a phone call or an email because you can do this. This is achievable. Um, and and uh, let's give it a shot and give me feedback. If you don't like it, if it doesn't make sense, guess what? This is the first time I've ever done this on distance learning. I've certainly done this before, but never via distance learning. So I need some feedback, and, and I want that. I really I crave that, but that's that's my own job to seek that. Um, remember, Monday check-in, we are all over the map, and some of us really need a, a digital hug. Some of us really need to get excited about Hamilton or something and try communicating in a new way. Make sure your research included specifics. You can't just say the SCLC. You need to say what that stands for. You need to say uh, what they did. Um, and then what we're going to do with this research is between now and next week, you're going to prove what you researched, what you did. Uh, continue to send me feedback. Give me emails. Let's set up a Google Meet and chat. Thank you for those who communicate on Remind or Schoology. I miss you. I hope you are well. I look forward to uh, connecting with you and take care.